Hey guys, this is the Daily Moogle, and welcome back to Eternal Eden. <clears throat> We're starting off this video in, uh, back in the dark world, world of shadows, whatever you want to call it, um, because we need to collect our reward for killing the few enemies that we killed in the last video. Uh, one of them was the Mammoth. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jesus. I'm a little sniffly right now, and I feel like my voice sounds kind of funny. Just, uh... I'm recording this at like 9.30 in the morning, and I normally don't record this early, so I'm probably just still waking up as part of it, but whatever. Um, so for killing the Mammoth, we get 10 life tabs, 5 power tabs, and 2 defense tabs. Which is pretty awesome, because actually if you look at uh, how many life tabs I have, I have 26 of them now. <laughs> so if you multiply that out, because each one gives you 30 HP... Uh, I think it's almost like 800 HP I could add to a single character if I wanted to. Or, you know, divvy it up, but... I have almost 800 total HP that I could distribute to my team. So for killing the Ahriman, we get seven, seven more life tabs, actually, so... How many is that? 33? <laughs> so that's, what, 990 now? That's pretty ridiculous, man. And then, yes, this is the big one. For Tiamat, we get Flare for Jean. Uh, which is just as good as it sounds. Um, trust me, I've seen this skill, and it's amazing. <laughs> it uses um, a ton of MP. Yeah, 150. So, I mean, he can only cast it one time. before you, I mean, you can heal him back up and do it over and over again, I guess. But you're going to run out of your items pretty quick that way. So... Let's talk to Gideon as well, because we get a new rank, and he gives us an experience ring. Which is really awesome, because... As you can probably guess... Um... There it is. It doubles the amount of experience that that party member gains after a battle, so... Um, I am gonna throw it on Gene. Um... Well, you know what? Actually, I should give it maybe to Fierro, because level is so much lower. Why don't we do that? So, Gene, you can have the spirit plus... Yeah, Fiero, you're... The square ring sucks anyway. You need something else anyway, so... And then I want to give the region ring back to Noah. Because that is definitely the most helpful thing we have right now. And then, Josephine, I guess you could take the one master ring that I have. Because that's pretty good. Alright, guys, uh... So at this point, let me cut off, and uh, I'll just meet you back at the Velvet Castle, is what it's called. Uh, which is where we, we visited briefly and picked up Josephine. Uh, we're going to head back there now and continue the plot, so I'll, I'll see you there. Alright folks, here we are back at the Velvet Castle, and uh, let's start exploring. <laughs> so, um, you might be tempted to go left or right here, but don't do that. You want to go ahead and go straight up. Uh, right up here is where we had the little cutscene, and uh, from here we're just going to start exploring by going to the right. <laughs> so, right into another dungeon, pretty much. Um, there's going to be some new enemies. As you can imagine, they're going to be, you know, spooky kinds of things, like this battle is with Haunted Sheets. <laughs> so the name is kind of funny. You know, it's like a bed sheet floating at you. Like, yeah, that's that's kind of funny, but... Um, let's see. Probably just stick with the good old attack up and buster charge technique. Really nothing too special about these guys that I've noticed. Um, I don't think they really have any skills. They just attack you like that, and their attack isn't even that strong, so... These guys are pretty easy. So, I guess I'll talk about it when we get there, but the puzzles in this dungeon are pretty interesting. Um, and they must have been pretty fun to make. Probably a pain to make, too, for all I know, but... Um, I'll talk about them when we get there. There's gonna be... Probably we'll get to one in this video, maybe two of them. Um, the treasure chests are all fake. They're all mimics. Uh, but for killing some of them, you do get special items. 
So it's it's kind of like you're getting an item from the chest, but you just have to kill something first. <laughs> you just get those manly urges, you know? You just gotta kill something. So, this one in particular will not give us anything, because he's a greedy bastard. But the other one in this room we're gonna get a shield from. And they're, these guys aren't tough either. Usually these mimics are notorious for casting, like, instant death spells. And, you know, stuff like that, but... So yeah, found nothing. Um, here's another one. We're, we're Like I said, we are gonna actually get something from this guy. So I guess I'll just go ahead and show it off real quick. Oh, jeez. That, <laughs> that was totally overkill. Yep, so we get a Crimson Shield, which, uh... Probably just give to Josephine, I guess. Well, who else needs one? See, I'm still not sure if I'm ready to replace the Escutcheon. I guess I will just give it to Josephine. She's going from Polar to Crimson. Alright, let's see who this is. Alright, we got some new enemies here, Undead. Um, again, there's really nothing special about these guys. They have 4,000 HP, so they take a little bit longer to kill, but... Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to have Jean use... Let's see, let's distribute this differently. Let's try Fire Omni. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, and even their physical attacks really aren't any worse than what we've seen so far. Holy crap, Josephine. Jeez. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, her silver revolver does a lot of really good damage against the enemies here. So I guess that stuff doesn't just work on vampires. It kind of works on any uh, creatures of the night, as they are called. Whether it's a floating bedsheet or a skeleton... <clears throat> hey, Josephine. Where do you come from? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm a bit amnesiac. Uh, so she has, like, amnesia. The last thing I can remember was fighting against Elvira with my master. We almost destroyed her right before she cast an incantation to plunge herself in an eternal slumber. And she succeeded to kill my master. That's the only thing I can remember. Sad. So Elvira just slept during a long time? Yes, as the tradition, Elusia's castle disappeared in nothingness during a hundred years until her wounds restore. So who's Elusia? <clears throat> the strangest thing is that this castle appeared in this dark world as if a force lured it here. And I awoke in this gloomy place too. Rishi? Huh? Who or what is Rishi? The core of evil in this world. It probably threw an invitation to Elvira for some unknown motives. Maybe. Ah, so we think Rishi is involved in... Well, I forgot about Rishi. I mean, of course he's involved in the plot somehow. But we haven't seen him since, like, the beginning of the game, or towards the beginning. <clears throat> it's been a while. I wonder if we're going to bump into him soon. Uh, Alright, we've seen these guys before, so I'll edit this one out. And I'm back. Alright, that battle was pretty easy. Uh, and it looks like we have another one on the screen. <laughs> Let's take out the fake treasure chest, though, first. Um, this will go really fast. I guess I'll just show this. By the way, I'm a little annoyed right now because... I bought myself an Arduino... Uh, for a project that I'm gonna do. And I seem to have misplaced it. <laughs> I bought a, uh, one of the shields, like one of the add-on boards, too. And I was getting ready to solder the headers onto it that attach the the shield to the Arduino itself because it's two different boards. And I guess I'll just show this since I'm talking. But, uh... There we go. So I have the shield and I was going to solder and then I went, well, wait a minute, which side do the, so do, do the headers need to go on? Because I don't want to get that backwards <laughs> and have it not fit together. So I'm like, all right, I'll go, I'll go get the Arduino and double check, you know. Just hold them up side by side and make sure. And I can't find the damn thing. 
And I swear it's only been in two places in my house. Like, I opened it up at the kitchen table, I admired it, and then I put it back in its little box, and I moved it to my room, because I'm like, alright, I gotta put this somewhere safe so nobody, you know, messes with it. And then, uh, lo and behold, it's not there anymore. So I, I have no idea. I gotta... I spent probably like 20 minutes panicked running around looking for it, but I haven't found it yet. So, anyway, sorry about that. So here's the puzzle, the new puzzle that I was talking about for this dungeon. Uh, it's called the Dolls of Fate. And yes, we want to take control. And it explains the rules to you. Basically, you want uh, the you know each doll, uh, the colors to match the staircase. You want them all to be hovering like on that square of the staircase, uh, the same color as them at the same time. <laughs> God, <laughs> that was a horrible explanation, but I think you get it. Um, this one is easy because all you do is walk down, and there you go. Uh, there's a couple more of those puzzles though, or two or three of them where, you know, you control all three dolls at once, so sometimes you have to, like... I guess you'll see when we get there, but it's kind of a fun puzzle. You'll have to get some of them to move, but not others, to get them all lined up correctly and all that stuff. So here's another Mimic, but, um... This one is required. Technically, you could have skipped all the other ones, but we do need the item that this guy is going to give us. It's actually the bloody key. So it's like the key for this dungeon. We're actually getting that already. Yeah. Which is a little out of sync, because normally... It seems like in all the other dungeons, that's something that you find... toward the end, once you're, like, already done... with most of everything, and then... you get the key, and then you just... you can go right to the boss, but in this case... Using the key doesn't take you right to the boss. Um, so anyway, you can see we're back kind of at the beginning of the dungeon now. We want to go to the left. And uh, we're going to have some more similar screens where, you know, items to pick up and enemies to kill. Nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary here at this point. All right, let's kill you off real quick. Uh, Gene, why don't you cure Omni, everybody? Noah's pretty much all set with that region ring, but nobody else has that luxury. <clears throat> Excuse me while I sip my coffee there. Oh, we got a Mega Elixir too, that's awesome. And we got a Crimson Helmet, which, uh... Let's see. Um... Just trying to decide who to give it to. Let's give it to Fiero, because I probably never noticed this, but his defense is really awful. I mean, part of it's because he just can't equip a shield, but... I don't know. His defense is just pretty bad. Um, let's see, I'll edit this one out, because we've seen these guys. Alright, that was nice and quick. That's what she said. God, that was awful. Um, do I have too many mid-tonics again? No, but almost. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've ever explicitly said this either, but... If you have 99 of an item, and you continue picking them up like this... Uh, you're just wasting them. So, like, there's 99, alright. Like, it won't tell you that your inventory is full, and you'll just be wasting the pickup because it's not like it doesn't let you pick it up either. So just something to be mindful of. Because I think I did do that for a while earlier in the game. I can't remember which dungeon it was, but I think I finally noticed that I had already maxed out my inventory on something. Uh, I will be right back. Alright. Um, moving on. We just want to continue up here. And uh, yeah, there's the key uh, key hole, anyway, right there. Um, we're not going to open it right this second. I know you might be tempted to, and I suppose you could. There's really no reason why you can't. Um, we're just not, not going to head that way just yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, be right back. And there you go. They are gone. No more smoke. Ha ha ha. 
Anyway. Uh, let's see, another little hallway to go through here. So today's a pretty big fantasy football day for me, too. Um, this is the first year I've ever done anything... Like, well, I've done fantasy baseball before a long time ago, but I didn't even know what I was doing. This is the first time I've done fantasy football, though, and I got a little bit of money riding on it, so... Um, we're in week 15 right now, which is like the playoffs of it. <clears throat> the second round of the playoffs. Uh, I managed to f place in second going into the playoffs, so I did get a buy the first round. I didn't play anybody last week. But uh, this is the week where it really needs to count. Like, if I don't win this week, then um, it's a pretty big deal. Because that means I can't win first place. Nope. Sorry. Had to reach over and... Uh, Grab something for a second. So let's see, we just got a holy ring. Oh, uh, what the heck does that do? It prevents death, okay. Well, wait, so it prevents, like, instant death? Or does it just, does it mean you your character can't die? Because <laughs> that would be pretty awesome if you had an accessory that, like, you, you, the character just never dies. Like, maybe you just stay at 1 HP or something like that? I might have to try that out and just verify what that actually does. <laughs> um, be right back. Alright. <clears throat> um, after that battle, I definitely want to mention this. Uh, Gene learned a new skill, which is Fire 2. So, it's a little strange. He's never had Fire 2 this whole time. Like, he's had Ice 2 and Bolt 2, but for some reason, Fire 2 came a lot later, so... I wonder if that's a skill that I was supposed to find somewhere, though. And, like, maybe the game, the way the game works, if you don't find the skill, then Gene will just automatically learn it by a certain level kind of a thing. I wonder if that's how, how the game works. It just seems strange that, that Gene would learn Fire 2 so late. And, I mean, everybody's getting pretty up there, too. Like, that was level 60 that Gene just hit, so... Oh, we got another Crimson Shield from that chest. But yeah, I mean, like, Noah's 62. You know, Fiero's lagging behind, but hopefully the Experience Ring will help kind of catch him up. Um, and even Josephine, like, we just got her as a new party member. And, uh... Normally, the, the level of the new character in your party... To me, it, in a game, has always been indicative of, like, what level the rest of your party should be at, basically. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. May as well. So the fact that Josephine, I mean, she wasn't at 59. I think she's probably gained some levels since we got her, but, you know, let's say she was at 56. I mean, that's, if everybody's supposed to be right around that level, then... To me, that's pretty high. I'm sure the max level in this game is probably 99, but... Um, we are definitely over halfway there, so... Oh, wait, see? F oh, that was Fiero. Never mind. <laughs> I thought Gene leveled up again and learned something else again. Uh, no, but Fiero just learned MP damage, I think it was. So... I don't know if that'll ever really come in handy. It, it would have to be like a boss that I know only has certain, like like a small amount of MP anyway, because a lot of times the bosses have like way too much MP for a skill like that to even be helpful. <clears throat> now, if we try to go down the stairs here, it's too dark. And you might remember there's uh, some areas on Turtle Island where you do the turtle hunting that are too dark. So, lo and behold, in this dungeon, we're going to learn a new ability that's going to allow us to explore those areas. And, um, well, I think I might end the video here, and we will open the gate, the bloody gate, with the bloody key that I have in my inventory. 
somewhere. I am drawing this out until I can find it. Which which might take a while. <laughs> Alright, this is ridiculous. There it is. A key stained with fresh blood. How wonderful. Anyway, uh, I'll end it here. And we'll open up the gate in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the Daily Moogle, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.